legitimate traffic could be inspected and therefore considered as attack, which we call a false positive. Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about thresholds and uh, what they do for DDoS protection. Uh, that's why uh, Haitam is here again to explain me uh, all about it. Welcome Haitam. Thank you. Hi again. Hi again. <laughs> and um, so I know about thresholds and what they are a bit, uh, but how do they apply to DDoS protection? Yes. Uh, uh, thresholds are uh, predefined uh, values. Uh, that helps the system to determine when it should check incoming traffic or when not. So any traffic below thresholds, it just pass without checking. When incoming traffic for a specific destination IP address cross that threshold, then the system or the protection system start to inspect each packet. That is uh, what thresholds is in, in simple words. Yeah. So, um, are there any uh, like industry standards for adjusting thresholds for DDoS protection? There is not, no really like uh, like industry standard, but uh, um, based on our expertise, we have already defined some templates which works in ninety percent of the situations. So really the majority of, of the servers or the, the protected IP can just work with the uh, default templates we provide in our client portal. Only if, if there's some server that really has like like big uh, uh, amount of traffic, then we need to adjust those thresholds or at least put them in a separate safe zone where we have higher thresholds. Ah yes, all right. So when um, setting thresholds, uh, is there like any uh, like drawback when setting your thresholds too high or too low? Uh, actually, yes. When you set high thresholds, uh, you get the more likelihood to 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 get bypassed bypassed attack. So if the attack was below the threshold, it will just pass. So and that means uh, you have a, a false negative. And if you if you would set low thresholds. Uh, legitimate traffic could be inspected and therefore considered as attack, which we call a uh, false positive. So it's a trade-off between performance and uh, protection. It has been always like this, it's trade-off. So you need more performance, you increase the thresholds, but then you are more vulnerable to bypass attack uh, uh, traffic. Right. And uh, yeah, vice versa. So uh, with that in mind, how often should uh, should we check uh, whether our thresholds are still up to date? Yeah, I suggest uh, uh, there is really no really need to to check it like uh, every month or periodically or, or uh, 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 at specific uh, period of time. But uh, if you have an issue with some uh, some IP, for example, you can to the, uh, go to the client portal to the zone and see in the peace time, see what traffic, what kind of traffic is being dropped for that specific IP address. If there is no attack and you see, you could see like, for example, AC, uh, AC traffic is being dropped, that means false positive. So you need to increase the, the, the AC uh, defense thresholds to mitigate uh, the false positive. So again, it, it's, always the, uh, 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 it's always like uh, doing when needed. It's not you have to do it like once in a while. So if it's working, it can stay forever. Uh, all right. Um, is there anything you want to add to this story about thresholds? Uh, yeah, simply it's you have two scenarios, whether uh, or let's say three scenarios. Everything is is uh, uh, working well, so you don't have to check uh, any threshold in this case. You have false positive. That mean you need to increase thresholds. You have false negative. You mean uh, you need to uh, reduce threshold. This is the simple rule of changing thresholds. So it's pretty easy. Yes. <laughs> All right. Very cool. Well, thank you very much for joining me and explaining uh, thresholds to uh, me. Thank uh, you and too. to you. Um, and uh, I hope I'll see you next time as well. Yep. And uh, thank you. Uh, see you next time. Yeah. See you next time. And see you next time as well. Bye. <laughs>